Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about the three bodies that we behold and how we can use that knowledge to manifest effectively, efficiently, um, and quicker. So if you're interested in knowing how to do this, stick around for the rest of this video. My name is Stephanie, I'm a psychotherapist turned manifestation coach. On this channel, we talk all things to do with actually manifesting your desires. If you're interested in that type of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. Also check out in the description box, I've got some free and some paid goodies, so you wanna check that out as well. All right, so let's jump right into the video. So we have three bodies, you know, obviously we know of our physical body and I'm gonna give you a quick drawing here. Okay, so this, this is you, this is me, this is our physical body. This is what we use to, typically, we are aware of using our physical body to navigate this three-dimensional reality. So we're using our senses, our, our taste, touch, um, hearing, ta uh, smelling, and seeing. Taste, touch, hearing, smelling, seeing, yes the five senses and that's what you use to navigate this world so when we're looking outside of ourselves we're seeing our reality we have already created so we're seeing what's around us now our current living situation that we've created that's right in front of us now you know the amount of money that's in our bank account we're seeing that that's what we have created and we are now sensing it in this 3d um so yes we want to use that, but this is not all we are. This physical being is not all we are. This is our limited perspective, the physical, okay? So I want you to look beyond that. We have our next body, which I'm going to label here. And that's your brain. Your brain beholds this mind body, mind body, mental body. OK, so this is what we are using when we're manifesting. We are going into our imagination and we're creating things in that five dimensional space within our mind, our imagination. This is what Neville Goddard talks about, creating through imagination. So we are, you know, training our mind, training our brain, reprogramming ourselves to think a certain way in order to draw in our desires and our manifestations. So, you know, absolutely continue doing everything with your mind that you're creating, um, but then also using your physical because your mind will receive inspired um, actions, inspired things that you should do to further bring that desire in. And that's where you use your physical body to do those things. But only when it's inspired, when it's inspired. And that's when you know it's in alignment with you actually gaining that desire. But there's a third body doesn't get talked about a whole lot but it's just important if not more important than these other bodies and this is your spirit body okay this is your spirit body so if you guys have ever heard of um, auras OK, this is the energy that you are giving off. It expands beyond your physical body. So if you've ever been to someone and they say, you know, you have a blue aura or something, you have all those frequencies. They're picking up off of those colors. Those frequencies vibrate at a certain um, level. And people, some people are able to perceive those colors in that auric field around you. In this field, this is where we carry our emotions. This is where we carry our traumas. You know, we feel it in our physical bodies as well, 
But this is where we can make those changes. If you have experienced a whole bunch of trauma, if you have experienced these horrible programming, if you have these these this um hmm, this propensity to go to the extreme when it comes to your emotions, then your spirit body is where you want to do the work. So, you know, this is our spiritual body is the most expansive out of all of our three bodies. This is this is in connection and in oneness with Christ consciousness, with, you know, um, super conscious with the the all. This is the limitless part of ourselves. So so when we are manifesting, what we want to do is we want to tap into all three. We definitely want to be changing, consciously changing those programs that we're running in our minds. At the same time, we want to be letting go of the negative emotions, okay, that have clogged up our org field. Let it go, let it go, let it go. And we can do that in several different ways. We can do that by just affirming. I am now letting go Of all of that trauma, I am now letting go of all those negative emotions. Just affirm that it is leaving you when it comes to your mind. I now have a program that is better serving me. I now hold a program and believe in things that are going to bring about my manifestation that are for my highest good. Affirm it, right? Affirm it for your spiritual body. Affirm it for your mental body. Affirm it for your physical body. My physical body is in perfect health. My physical body is in perfect harmony with what's good for me. Affirm it, right? And then use your mind to also clear out that you can, you know, create scenes in your mind where you are cleansing yourself. Physically cleanse yourself, yes, do your spiritual baths and things like that, but also in your mind, visually, visualize a bucket of golden water sitting above your head and visualize that bucket tilting over and pouring the golden water over you. It is cleansing your spiritual body. See all the dark clouds washing down and washing away. Also see that golden water going inside of your head, filling up your brain space, clearing all of that out. Watching it go all the way down into your body, all the way through your body, and all the way out through the soles of your feet back into the earth where it came. Send it away with love. You serve me for a time. Thank you. It's time for you to go. I no longer need you. Sending you back. Transmuting these negative dark feelings and fear and doubt and jealousy and anger. Sending it away with love. Transmuting the negative feelings back to love. This is what you do. Make this an everyday practice for yourself. Spend five minutes doing this every day and watch how your life changes. Your moods will change. How you think will change. How you speak to people will change. How you speak to yourself will change. The energy that you put off when you walk into a room will change for the better. The energy that you attract from other people around you will change for the better. This is a way of holistically manifesting. This is healing. Okay, you guys, so do this. Come back to this video Watch it over and over again. Develop your own way of cleansing your three bodies and come back to this video. And I want to hear in the comments how you did it. What did you do? What did you visualize? How did you cleanse your spiritual body, your mental body, your physical body? 
and what the, were the results of that. So I look forward to that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye lovelies.